Hello and thanks for joining us on the midweek edition of Journalist Standout. I'm Ayodili Uzubakum. Today on the program, President Buhari inaugurates a new cabinet, assigns portfolios to ministers. Governor Sawolu swears in commissioners and special advisors. Tell them to ensure Lagos remains top destination. Ogun kidnappers collect 3.5 billion naira cartons of shinap and um, 30 liters of palm oil, 10 tubers of yam, and a 5 liter keg of vegetable oil as ransom. And later on the show, fans tell Buhari to give cash reward to D Tigress for winning African Basketball Championship back to back. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Kolade Otitoju and Dari Odufaokon. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. Many thanks for joining us. The wait is finally over. President Momodou Buhari has unveiled a new cabinet to assist him in piloting the state affairs. The swearing in of the new ministers comes three months into his second term. After his speech, President Buhari assigned them portfolios with some notable surprises. The president retains the petroleum minister's portfolio. The new a new Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development was created with Sadia Umar Farouk as, from Zamfara State as minister. Former Lagos State Governor Baba Tunde Raju Fashola retains his position as Minister of Works and Housing, but power was assigned to another minister. Let's hear what Babajide and other guests said on Fashola during a previous discussion on the program. We want to see, especially as we are facing um, power issues, you want to see a battle energy return to that ministry and probably give um, Fashola works so that I can fix roads. Um, Bonjour. Yes, yeah, well, that's going to happen. We've it's, always it's wanted that to happen. happen. It's inevitable now. <clears throat> just as, uh, just mm. as I, I, I predicted that uh, Roti Miyamechi and uh, Hadis Rika will have that ministry split into two so that mm. they can go separate ways and stop uh, fighting one another. They never work together. Uh, yes, mm. in, in a very embarrassing mm. manner uh, that we've come to uh, associate with them. So that will happen now with 43 ministers coming instead of even the 42. This is probably the, the largest cabinet ever. Mm. But Fashola needs to, Fashola needs to get his act together because he disappointed Nigerians greatly. In those By your own years. reckoning. Mm -hmm. in the, uh, uh, look at the roads. You just uh, look at the roads. Housing. How many housing units were delivered to Nigeria? Um, um, works. Power. Do you where, think, where is it? Uh, do you think it was overwhelmed? Power? Of course. It was clear from the beginning. Nigeria okay. said so. It was clear from the beginning. But and, there are some areas and, where if you go to Kwara now, yeah. that road at least to Jeba, and you go and tell them that Fashola it's has been a well. failure, they will probably be lynched. Hey, but is what about other areas? Is it, no, it's an overwhelming well, uh, job. Let's yes. face it. It's That's an overwhelming fine. job that it's he has. Fact. And when we suggested it, that they it, should it, split this yeah, thing, the it was probably was, uh, yes. one way of helping him. Yes. For example, yes. if, for example, Fashola, for example, has done nothing about Mambila. It's not simply No, I'm not saying that, that Fashola, Fashola is a person. Yeah. Eh? Could not have done no, You said he's disappointed. He, yes, because It's he, an overwhelming job. You see, he cannot fix all of the roads in Nigeria in four years. But and then the he job, also has the, the portfolio. job. The portfolio. He also has the heavy. job of delivering electricity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we've always that's, suggested that they should split. That's the kind of a task. A Let me tell you, he he did far better in road construction than in the power sector, mm -hmm. because in the power sector, because the sector is uh, deregulated, deregulated already. partly, mm -hmm. not partly, totally, not mm -hmm. totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. His hands are tied. Yes. But in terms of roads construction. Is done well. You see him go from point to point, construction of dams and all that. The people who are benefited, mm. no matter how little, mm. you can't stand before those people and say this man has been a failure. And that's why I gave the example of yeah. Jeba. I know roads that Fashola met in a bad state and he has gone to fix. 
In fact, I know. it had construction so, in all but, states. But the thing is, we are talking of a whole country. But, yes. mm. A whole country. But there are and if you look at the state of our roads, even before the... No, you see, they will it get there. Be. You see, yeah. they will get there. You can't imagine that in four years, Fashola will fix all roads. It, it is not It is not he, Aladdin, for God's sake. He was even it's not a magician. Four years. That was on the 24th of uh, July this year, and um, we were projecting what might happen, and spot on. But imagine you know, what are those surprises, this whole portfolio assigning business <laughs> of the government <laughs> from what you saw today? Mm, I didn't expect new ministries. Those new, the ministry of humanitarian development, um, disaster. disaster management, and social development. I didn't expect it, and I will commend the president for coming up with that because it's at the core of the problems the that we face we now. in the Northeast especially. So with a ministry like that, you will expect that if it is well-funded, mm. we can respond quickly. To supervise to, NEMA. Yes, they, that, that would be their job, mm. to supervise NEMA and ensure that uh, um, those Full problems ministry, are no. quickly solved and people mm. are resettled quickly mm. so that they don't suffer. I remember the governor of, of um, Casino State taking it upon himself to look after IDPs who fled Zafara and came to Casino. Yeah, to Casino. To came to Kankara local government, Casino. The governor was the one feeding them, you know, providing beddings and other things that they needed. Mm. So if we have a ministry that is dedicated to that, you know that when these things happen, that is their job. We know who to call, we know That's who to talk country. to. So it's a fantastic development that that ministry has come, and it's a tough task that the president has given to one of his most trusted uh, supporters. Mm. Because this is a woman who had been with the president for so long and was the treasurer of the APC at some point. So the president has invested so much faith, so much um, confidence in her to give her a new ministry and a challenging one. So it's, uh, it came as a surprise to me then. Of course, police. Police has always been there. We always have police affairs when we had expanded cabinet. But what uh, they have done now is to take police out of, of, um, Minister, of Interior. Uh, Minister of Interior and let it stand alone. So the Minister of Interior, where uh, Ogbeni uh, will function, will still have immigration, uh, immigration civil defense, uh, uh, correctional, uh, what's that? Uh, even the, the, even the, yes, the prisons, yeah. and of course the, the national. Civil defense uh, the, the national ID yeah. card registration uh, yeah, scheme, you will have to supervise mm. uh, that now because it's a, a big project. Mm. Are going to, so it's a surprise. Then the other surprise for me is putting um, Aquabio and um, Festo Schiamo in the same ministry. <laughs> I just pray that the problem that we solved by splitting up Amechi and uh, Adisirika. Adisirika, we won't have Very the same problem place. because these are people who are completely antipoda. You know, you, you, they are completely different. One, I would have expected Kayamo to be given a different ministry. Just, just the same way that I expected Sunday Dari to be given a different ministry because Sunday Dari has never really shown interest in sports. So you, we, we, we are not playing to his strengths by giving him the sports ministry, no. I don't know what the problem is with us. We always refuse to bring in people who have fantastic background as sports people. We always refuse to bring them in. We have the Odegbamis of this world who have served their country, who are brilliant. You can't question Odegbamis' brilliance, mm. you know? We have people like Adoke. Yes, they can they can function as as as, as post minister, for example. But we always don't bring them. We always bring people 
who do not. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Look at so, so Sonny Dive as a case study now. Yes. It shows so much promises, brilliance in that the little time he was yes. in NCC. Yes. And when he was, uh, you know, interviewed in the Senate, it showed that he has invested so much knowledge and everything. And that was just that exercise. I just came from GT Ogunye and just told me what was that exercise oh, for. No, the thing, if you, the the yes. power sector now, the person who we have told to, to run the power sector. Mm. When you go over the the, the screening again, mm. he probably had the worst performance of all of them. Fashola was bombarded with given, questions on power sector. We, he doesn't even have to get the power sector because I'm convinced that he didn't really succeed in the power sector. What I'm saying is the screening, the person who didn't really do well in screening, is the one that we have given a very big ministry. So you ask yourself, what what that was what was the screening about? Although the person who has to, who is going to the communication ministry also has a background, and where I used to work was also supervised by by the communication ministry. So they have their reason. But I would have wanted somebody that to be given something else and not make him a sports minister because I have known him for many years. I know that he's not it's really a sports this. enthusiast. <laughs> yeah. All right. It appears Roti Mamechi <laughs> would breach easy, easily now. Now <laughs> we have Hadis Erika becoming <laughs> aviation minister. It has been separated, I've been issue, because in 2015, it was as if aviation was under uh, okay, Ministry of Transport before Hadis Erika had to work solo. Yeah, well. Uh, to, uh, concerning uh, Amechi and uh, Adesirika, I think it's, it's the best thing to happen to that ministry, transport and aviation, now two ministries, transport on its own. And if you look at the two gentlemen, uh, between 2015 and 2019, they both appeared like people who wanted to work. They did well. And they understood what they wanted to do. But Ego kept, I mean, uh, mm. affecting their relationship. Mm. These are people from two different backgrounds. And uh, perhaps because of the delineation, one is the minister, the other is the minister of state. Mm. And if you even look at the way we are running this minister and minister of state, it is not clearly defined. Mm. So there mm. will always be yeah. that clash. They have their clashes, but they still found enough time to do enough for Nigerians yeah, to say, right. yeah, they mm. perform. So now that they are going to work separately, I expect them to perform better. But let, let me quickly say something on the sports ministry. It is, I think it's the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Mm. Uh, that could, a, a look at the list. Mm. The first thing I looked at was that ministry. And when I saw Sunday Daddy, I had this feeling that maybe for the first time, we're actually not looking at Ministry of Sports. We are looking at the ministry having more than just sport. And it's important. You see, one basic issue that Nigeria needs to address now is the issue of its teaming youth. There are issues of drug abuse, other vices, cultism, gaining ground. Mm. The, the National Youth Council is a shadow of its old self, where you now have 49, 53, and 57 year olds struggling for positions. I know Sunday Dari as somebody who has always been interested in youth matters way back. Even while we were in uh, school as student unionists, he was one of those very senior ones who had left school that was always still, I mean, getting involved once in a while. So perhaps that's an area of strength uh, discovered by the presidency and they want to tap they, they in. They didn't discover well, uh, I know, I, I'm just yes. feeling if yes. we were for once. Look, at, maybe in future, when you look maybe at that split ministry, that ministry. When too. you look at that ministry, you talk because sports. because it's, all, it's almost it's almost. When all, you look at uh, that ministry, sports, let me know. let me just get this one in. Mm. When you look at that ministry, mm. over the years, yeah. the bulk of the work that a minister does there is sports. Uh, sports, and that's where, that's exactly, exactly what I'm saying. Because, because you see, it overshadows you every other thing. Mean, eh, no, the truth is, you look at you are talking about okay, youth. We have issues. Yes. Well, there are other agencies of government, not necessarily under that ministry, mm, that, are, uh, that are meant to take care of some of those issues. Drugs, NDLA. Yes. Yes. But NDLA so will not come up with policies. Let me tell you, and you will see. 
God will spare our lives. Yeah. You will see that once you are a minister, uh, even ministry. when they post, Yusuf Suleiman, the former mayor who was once minister, that was my friend now. Mm. He ended up, those, he too did not have sports background. But yeah. you'll find that the bulk of his day work is That's the way the ministry is. Maybe we should be also be talking but, about, maybe they should split the, the ministry. Uh, but to, rub, to try to bring everything together now, mm. Ibikuli Amosu, the strong man of mm. Mm. politics, mm. still succeeded in God, Olam Leko with a, a full minister. He derives his strength from his closeness to the president. And um, Buhari, as a person, likes to stick with people who have been with him for years. A suspended yeah. member of the You know, I said, uh, someone was saying that he thought Mamora would be made health minister. And I said, no. Hmm. This, the, uh, Hanere was the junior minister. In that ministry. Once that opening came, the president put him there. And now made Mamora the minister of state. You see, all the appointments going to Ogun State are going to Amosun's people. Sunday Dari has been replaced. Replacement. Uh, yes. Yes. He's still his person. Mm. Because even after the stoning... Mr. President looks at Orgo State. It's as if he's the only Amosu he Ayo. sees. <laughs> every, you, because he's always going to see the man. <laughs> oh, man. When, even when he was sick in, uh, in, uh, and was abroad, he was there. He will be among the first people to go and see the president. Immediately he wakes up. From, uh, you know. So he, he understands the president. And he knows what to do to get uh, on the eve of the election, even when the president, you were in Daura now, mm. when the president had relocated to his hometown. Yes, so it was the last Amosun governor I saw. Amosun still went there. It was the last governor when I saw. When he was supposed to be campaigning in his own state. state. Yeah. When he was supposed to be campaigning yes, in his own state, yeah. he yeah. went to Daura to yeah, see the president. Also, also, yeah. There are people who say that the last person to see the president <laughs> on any given issue usually has an advantage. Hmm. Maybe this is what he has discovered <laughs> <laughs> if, that he continues to exploit. But I don't think he's healthy when we have from that other same state, other stakeholders like the pre vice president, like, like uh, Aremo, Lushe Aremo Lushe 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 Shoba. Shoba, you know, and like the governor people, himself, like the <laughs> governor, or for all those appointments to be going. Because even before now, those board appo appointments that were made, hmm. you know, Mm. were uh, dominated by his own people. Yes, sir. So with a new governor in charge now, I know that at least things will change. Otherwise, it will breed problems uh, in the future. But I, uh, congratulations to him, his, uh, his boy, Adeguite, uh, became a substantive minister. But I, Whereas most of, you can see that a lot of these other people were just junior ministers. But I just are asking questions because I don't know. What kind of country we remove an Ibi Kachuku as a petroleum minister and put Timmy Prius Silver <laughs> as a, a minister of state for as petroleum? Replacement. Sacrificing people with, I spoke with somebody earlier, is it, sacrificing it, merit on the altar of politics there, with there, all the CV Kachuku is bringing to, brought to the table. It, it couldn't make. <laughs> Silver is a former governor. One. Two. The entire exercise. To me, is seventy percent politics, hmm. and uh, and thirty uh, percent state issues. If if, if you think uh, the the appointment and the allocation of uh, position for minister is uh, uh, matters of state essentially, then you are wrong. After an election, a general election, there are victors and there are losers. The victors will sit down to determine how. Uh, the, the party will uh, proceed forward, given the available positions. It will be difficult to discountenance those who participated in the electoral warfare and totally, or more than, uh, giving more than the fair share to people who you think will be able to do the job. It boils down to something we've been saying. Professionals, technocrats, who think they understand what the problems of this country are and they have the solution, should also join in politics from the uh, po politicking stage. Don't wait. There is this issue. We, we, we tell politicians to go and fight for positions, to contest elections, to lead party in battle. 
And when they win, we start calling on them to remember technocrats. It's not done anywhere that way, really. That we should go and struggle and get the spoil. Yeah. Power. And when the spoil <laughs> is to be shared, we invite onlookers. It will, the, 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 the technocrats, so called, will do this country more good if they get involved in the struggle quickly, for power. Uh, Baba Jide, quickly, what do, you, what, what, what do you make of some radical mix in the cabinet? The, the, well, when you look at the. If we simply to look at merit uh, and put people round pegs, I don't think the president really did that. There are people much better than some people that are manning those ministries. Some people, it will appear that we have wasted them by the portfolios that we have assigned to them. Uh, I think that in future, it will do us a world of good to have enough technocrats in the administration because Obasanjo tried it. People like Obi Ezekwesili, you can't say they are politicians. He didn't bring them in as politicians. Mm -mm. People, well, like, uh, um, uh, mm -mm. people like people um, like even this woman. Uh, uh, yes, I didn't know of a Greek. And mm -hmm. we can see that it's a shining star on, in our continent. It it design, the progress that we are making in agriculture today is his work. Mm -hmm. So, and Aganga and the rest of them, there's no way you put those people that you won't see clearly that they, 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 they will do well. But if politicians will come, I don't think in America they simply headhunt politicians for cabinet position. Go and check Trump's, Trump's cabinet. And Trump is doing well in terms of the economy. Everyone knows that Trump is doing well. People, you, you are in America mm -hmm. on holiday, you can mm -hmm. see that jobs are everywhere. The, 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 the people are now deciding. People are deciding, deciding on their own to say, mm. no, I don't want this job. This is the one that I want. Mm. You, we must have the right mix of technocrats and career politicians. We can't fill a cabinet with career politicians. The best oil minister Nigeria has ever had remains Tam David West. Mm. And Tam David West came from the university, uh, from the university system. Mm. And he was not even uh, a, a trained petroleum engineer. It was a, a, a virologist. So this is the thing. This is the value of using such people. So we have to find the right balance. Okay. Moving on. Nigeria's commercial NAF center, Lagos, is experiencing a new lease of governance. The governor of the Southwest State, Babajide Sonwolu, constituted his cabinet on Tuesday. While swearing commissioners and special advisors, Governor Sonwolu urged them to join hands to accelerate the growth and development of the state and ensure Lagos remains top investment destination. The eye-catching aspect of the new cabinet is the appointment of a woman, Aramide Adeyoye, as the commissioner for works and infrastructure. Babaji, let's um, look at this. You know, I, the class of 1999 in Lagos is always a pride any time, any day, yeah. and the yeah stick across the country. Mm -hmm. And when you start mentioning the names that they've, they've graduated from the class of mm -hmm. 1999, they are all shining stars today, the Harik Besholas of this world, the um, Shiba, Jus. the Shiba Jus of this world, the Tunji Bellows of this world, oh, yeah. the, the Wali Adun, the Dele Alakis of this world, Muiz Banere of this world, they are everywhere. I, I had that kind of cabinet, man. You know who said it from the beginning, he said, <laughs> I'm bringing technocrats. Mm. That's the language he used. And go and check that cabinet. How many politicians are on that cabinet? Mm. He knew what he was doing. The, 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 the template for the development of Lagos was designed mm. by that cabinet. Master it plan. was a star studded cabinet. Mm. It was a star studded cabinet. And it reflected in the achievements that. They recorded. Formation Tinobu, strategy. Tinobu <laughs> came in when Lagos was earning IGR of about 800 million. And he moved it, he moved it to around 18 million. 18 million within four years. And that progress continued. Fashola too took it further. Even later, the likes of Fabian joined. Ambodi too took it further. 
Mm. Because mm. what did Ambo do? He, 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 he made the collection of, of taxation more, more efficient and Lagos made more money mm. from IGR. Mm. So this is the thing. He, he identified the right people. Some of them were abroad, he brought them in. Um, uh, Oshibaji was not a politician. I no, don't think. A lecturer at the University of Lagos. Yes. Faculty of Law. Yeah, he brought him in. And he delivered for <laughs> him. Oshibaji <laughs> was the one who kicked out the, the, the corrupt judges out of the Lagos judiciary. Hmm. And he told Oshibaji, he said, What I would not want to see is for me to kick these people out and then for you to bring them back for any reason. They both hmm. agreed that no. Do the job. I'm going to back you all the Clean way. Up. Yes, and he did it. And women who used to occupy the back street mm. of Lagos Judiciary, they started becoming Justice chief judge, Philip. chief back judge, to back. chief yeah, judge, yeah, back yeah. to back. <laughs> so that is the value of putting the right. And today, the Lagos State Judiciary is almost is number one. <laughs> so, and when you needed a chief of staff to replace. Elijah Lai Mohammed, who to wanted to contest in Kwara. Yes. He brought him Baba uh, uh, Raji Fashola. He was not a politician. In mm -hmm. fact, he didn't like politicians. It was the reason they hated him mm -hmm. and told Ashiwaju that his candidacy <laughs> would not fly, that they would not support him. But Ashiwaju had to go around and pleaded that this is the person who can do the job. And he did the job. And he did the job mm -hmm. to the pride of his boss. So this is the thing. Now, Songwolu has no reason to not succeed. The template is there. Lagos now can almost run on an autopilot. Yes, I'm telling you. Mm. You see them because consistently. Because Songwolu later became a nucleus of that. He, yeah, he, he, he worked for the work system. He's Songwolu and Femi Amzat, his deputy. Yeah. He mentioned it today <laughs> that, yeah. that you, because uh, Amzat too, Mm. Also work for TM. Yeah. Yes, for science and technology yes. commissioner. Yeah. He, he, I, I keep saying it that he's one of the most that. brilliant commissioners to ever come out of Lagos. Yeah, he was a lecturer in the US. Mm. Uh, first of all, I told us something. They went to a foreign country. I don't want to mention the name of the country. He said, after Amzad presented a paper, they came with forms, come and become a citizen of our country. Mm. <laughs> Is that brilliant? We must tell the truth. We must admit it. <laughs> And there are many people, mm. Bele, who worked for, for him as uh, an advisor and later as mm. a finance uh, commissioner. Sure. Mm. Brilliant chaps. Mm. Lagos has this repository of brilliant minds. And Tinobu has shown that he has the number one production line for brilliant public officers in this country. Mm. He has made people. As a sunrise. <laughs> he has made people. The number one production line for fantastic public officers. Tinobu has it. Hmm. All right, I'll take this breather. When we come back, we'll discuss more. It's still Journalist Hangout. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Journalist Hangout. We're reaching you live from Television Continent, and we're looking at the cabinets of... Um, Mr. Babajide Sowolu, that's the governor of Lagos State now. And from that list, when you check that list, I, I, I saw the likes of uh, Tujibilo. Yeah. Tujibilo was one time commissioner for environment in Lagos two State. Time. Well, three two times. Time, three times commissioner <laughs> for environment, and then he became the SSG under Akhil um, Miambodi. He's coming back. With his experience, now, he's back. Yeah. Environment, and yeah. you know, one of the the backlog of problems we faced under Ambody was this visionscape thing, mm, yeah. and we had the refuse, refuse mm. all over Lagos, and Tunjibilo has been to all over the world, learning the, the act of, uh, you know, uh, evacuating this refuse and the structured loma. I think bringing him back is a good thing. Yeah, it, it's one of those master strokes I saw in this uh, Lagos cabinet. A lot of people looking at that list on the face value may be tempted to say what is mm. new or what is thick. Mm. But a lot. I'll tell you, let's start from the composition. It is a wonderful blend of the old and the new. It's equally a wonderful blend of more technocrats, ably supported by some politicians. You see, the issues of state needs that balance. Mm. One of the things that did the last administration in was the absence of that balance. 
the former governor rolled more with the new intakes, mm. leaving the old hands who have oh, become, so they are technocrats. When you mention people like so Tunji Belu, mm. a technocrat that have been around for so long that he is now a well entrenched politician too. He can, he can mention he all knows the, the party. In Lagos. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm, I'm trying to balance mm -hmm. it. He knows the party mm. as much as he knows the work he's coming to do. He knows the limit of government and party. He is in a position to advise the chief executive, mm. Mr. Governor. We can tread let's softly let's here, mm -hmm. Mr. Mm -hmm. Governor. Let's balance it here. Having and if you look at that uh, list, you have one or two of people like him there. A wonderful balance. Then talking about the work that needs to be done in Lagos today, environment is number one. Any serious, it's just like I was saying about the federal list. I expected this uh, government to take the issue of power very seriously, and we should have seen it in who they are sending to that sector. In Lagos, the, 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 the new governor knows the problem. Environment, refuse, drainages, mm -hmm. flooding. And he, he, there is need for somebody, not just somebody we think can do it now. We cannot gamble at a point like this. When Fusion Scape already scraped our head, what we needed was somebody who has done it before. Mm. And in Tuji Belo, you cannot, you could, he couldn't have been wrong. Mm. He's been commissioner. And then you have um, mm. Um, mm. our friend. Joe Ibokwe. Ibokwe, who is in charge of drainage services. And um, water services. Inland waterways or inland mm. uh, port. You see, these are the, the, the combination of these two people. And these are people who know Lagos. Another thing I see, I, I worked with uh, uh, Tuji Belo uh, in Concord and some other. I will tell you, he knows Lagos like the back of his hand. As a reporter, you are trying to explain to him why you went, got laid to an assignment. He will tell you where are you going, where are you going from. You could have taken this street, there is a the corner. Woman, have... The issue of the woman. Yes, yes. I think uh, it's very, it's novel. Okay. Well, uh, yes, as commissioner for works. Because Ralph, that's Shalom another was thing. In that ministry before. Uh, yes. Um, uh, Dahoudi Johnson was a special advisor in, in, in that, that ministry. In that ministry. Johnson before. It's, um, I think it's a bold move by the. Governor, my name's Sip. I don't know what he has seen in, in her, but he must have seen something in her that the rest of us uh, do not know to have given her that kind of ministry. And works I, I think, yes, I think that every time we give women the opportunity, they work with honesty, they are, they are usually diligent. Go and check even those women who work for Basanjo. Including the former, the late Navdak. Uh, Dora Kunjali. Yes, Kunjali. they worked with their entire hearts. So, I want to believe that this woman will deliver. There's something about her. There's something about her that made the governor give her that portfolio. But of course, the governor too will consistently supervise, yeah. and the, the deputy, deputy governor, governor no. has knowledge oh. of, of that ministry. <laughs> like so said, was in charge of the government government under uh, with those people around her. Hmm. I don't, I don't expect her to fail. So we can only uh, wish them good luck. Our friend, uh, the new commissioner for information. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's another thing. One of the, 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 the editor of information, uh, one of the most my, experienced my, journalists. My immediate past uh, editor, uh, one of the uh, most uh, experienced uh, journalists. Uh, and then, for a government that wants to relate well with the people, the choice of uh, the man in the information ministry. Mr. Gwinga, what's your Then look at the special, look at the special duties. The special duties, very calm, yes. the special special duties ministry. Dr. Wale, Wale Ahmed. Wale Ahmed. This government wants to Good balance one. governance with politics. Good then one. Then you can begin to see Wale Ahmed's role there. Good one. Good one. All right. Desperate times are here and they are manifesting in different oddities. Some gangs in Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, to kidnap for ransom to a different level after collecting 3.5 million naira. Listen to this from families of three kidnapped victims at Odeum Omi in Ogun, Waterside local government area. The abductors felt dissatisfied. They went ahead to collect sundry items like a carton of shinaps, hot drink, 30 liters of palm oil, and 10 tubers of yam before they released them. But the police in the states claimed that no ransom was paid before the release of 
Abdulaziz Sani, who is the son of the chief imam of Odeomi, and two others. Hmm, comic, but a sad development. Gentlemen, they went beyond the Naira rain of 3.5 million. Mm. Now, <laughs> to show you that they might be local guys. <laughs> or, or, I don't know, because would Lee call this Fulani headsman again? <laughs> Saying uh -huh. three, <laughs> three, <laughs> three shinaps. <laughs> mm. I, I don't know. No, this is a. Uh, 30 liters of palm oil. Kidnapping. 10 not, tubers of yam. It's not a funny uh, reality. And uh, nobody wishes to be a victim. Mm. Because you can easily die in your hands, yeah, even the torture that they put people through. Yes, but this particular gang of kidnappers took oddity to its elastic limit. Because you are not preparing for a marriage. This looks like items that they usually demand. <laughs> Yeah, when you are preparing for marriage, <laughs> when, when the Yorubas are doing what you call Idano, Idano. that is yeah. when they will ask for this. The only thing missing from here is goats. Yeah, they should have asked for goats so that yeah, we know we'll that, okay, that, it's, that it's it is complete. In the <laughs> because you, you, ah, palm oil, all of this, what do they want Two to bars do with of, that? Yeah. After you collected 3.5 million. Mm. I've heard the police say no, that uh, Not a penny uh, no ransom was paid. What? We all know that families prefer to negotiate directly with those guys mm. before getting the police, the police involved. involved. In fact, they will tell you that if you call the police, we will kill the victim. Uh -huh. So these, these people are very sensible. Remember what happened with Baba Fala, you know? They claim that they, pay, that they didn't pay any ransom, but the, the family later confessed yeah, that ransom was paid. Pay, so the people who delivered uh, palm oil and other things, they, they know that they delivered it to the to the the, the, the abductors, so we can at this point be arguing that uh, ransom was not paid. The, the totality of what they, they 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 delivered is what is called ransom. It's not the money alone. You know, <laughs> yeah. It always comes with a price. And um, the police PPRO, this mm. is breaking news mm. from that Ogun State now, mm. just telling us that his name is Abin Bola Oyemi. It's just informing us now that those kidnappers have actually been arrested, that they will be paraded tomorrow. Have been bola. They must de all, yes. this, all those well, all these people are not the yeah. 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 tubers of yam. collect it yes. from them. Uh, to show that it is, they it are is local boys. It's essential. No, no, don't, don't, don't preempt the situation okay. by saying they are local boys. We will find out palm oil. Yeah. But obviously, <laughs> this looks like uh, a script from one strange uh, uh, drama somewhere far away. Well, right under our nose, it is happening. They took money. Now they ask for sacrificial items. Because I see these like people, they, they were so comfortable doing what they were doing. They Honestly, were not scared. Apart from the 3.5 million. And they, they had time to say, go and drop this. Then it also tells us That's that relaxed. Uh, kidnapping is actually. For Juju. For Juju, one, mm -hmm. two. It's also a pointer to the fact that they have eye doubts where they actually feed and of eat. Course, no, of course, they are These are food items. That maybe they were running out of stock. So you can't like, buy food at that No, it's also an opportunity. They paid 3.5 million. They were not ready to take 100,000 out of that. To buy the food buy. No. So oh. supply us. Oh, this oh, uh, uh, palm oil and of tubers of yam. And, and she uh, that we No, it's easy. You just boil the yam and, and use uh, the use palm oil. To eat oil. Or so, use the granite oil. And then and we the shilaf, Yes. And, and they drink that one. Do they want? We've also listened to kidnap victims saying the only food they gave them were yam and palm oil. Now you can begin to see how, how relaxed these people were. I mean, and then the police saying no ransom was paid. Well, it, is, it has become a mantra of some sort. No, they don't like they, admitting. They, they don't like admitting. Like but then when you now tell them the family said they paid, they will say they didn't tell them before paying. We told them not to pay. No. When they know the life they of their loved ones pay, as is at risk. The person, no. It's a normal narrative. Nobody will listen no. to them. Okay. When that Nigerian player based in, the, in Italy, yeah. Obodo, was uh, kidnapped. The police claimed no ransom was paid. But the club hmm. announced that it sent money, wads of dollar notes to, 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 get, to, him to, 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 to get him out of uh, uh, the detention. Uh, I mean, uh, 
the, 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 the kidnappers the, then. So this is the thing. But is it, happens, is it, is it a good thing? We for must our find to a way to deny. defeat. We must defeat this kidnapping this is because these guys are becoming. They are becoming even too comfortable. Bold. Otherwise, uh, why would we have the time to stay to the around? Asking for palm yeah. oil, asking for tubers uh, of, of yam, yam asking for sinap, mm. you know. And the, the, the location is a is a riverine area uh, in uh, Gowata side, Odeomi, where the, I'm sure where they will have to go and drop these things because when it happened, we were told that they, they, they took the guy away in a speedboat. So these people will also have to go across the yeah, water, water, take yam, take mm. uh, palm oil. And they were, not, they were not afraid. They were not scared. They were comfortable. All, mm. While all this was happening. When they teach them this lesson, ah. and, uh, next time they will be more. <laughs> 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 we really want to see this. Yeah, guys. yeah. We'll be waiting. Abimbola and Yemi will be waiting for the parade tomorrow. Yes. We want to know who these guys are. And we'll stay on the matter. <laughs> we'll stay yeah. on the matter. Yeah. Yeah. I'll come and see. This is. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 yeah, versus Yam eaters. Uh, yeah, palm oil. We're drinkers and Yam eaters. Yam eaters. All right. We go on this break. When we come back, Promise Efoge will be joining us. Mark, Promise Afoge is joining us, our sport editor. Thank you, Promise. You're welcome. All right. Football is not only the most viewed sport in Nigeria. It is also one of the most lucrative, apart from the huge pay soccer players. And at their club sites, the men's national team, the Super Eagles, most times receive cash incentives from the federal government for bringing laurels to the country. Now, other sports are clamoring for such rewards. Basketball fans are calling on President Mamadou Buhari to reward the country's female basketball team, the Tigress, for winning the 2019 Afro Basketball Women's Nations Cup in Senegal. While the Senegalese players who lost the final to Nigeria received $17,000 each as a bonus. The champions are yet to get anything. The figure of is six times more than the $2,800 the Tigress team received when they won the Afro Basketball Tournament two years ago. So it appears the clamor is justified. Let's hear from the team captain. We need Buari to help us out because that's something that is really going to motivate us. Considering Senegal, they came second and then they, they, the president gave them like um, 8 million sephir as well as house. And then this year again, they gave them 10 million sephir and a house close to the stadium. And that's huge, you know, that's huge. And that's something we need from uh, the president. Of Like that's a motivation. That will bring more players to come to Nigeria to play. Our coach, before the um, camp uh, took off, he told us we just need to stay positive. No matter, like, we shouldn't let the outside distraction to get to us. And I think that's something we took uh, to ourselves in person, and we just dealt with it. And then go, we went to Senegal to defend our championship. Sports, uh, um, promise. <laughs> <laughs> promise. The sports crew, uh, TBC um, sports crew, they brought these girls. I've, I've seen they them. Visit us, and yes. I mean, they visited us. They were here but, twice. Yes, I've seen them twice. I met with them. One thing I discovered is that most of them were based abroad before. And they had to abroad. born uh, abroad, uh, born abroad, born in the US. They had to trace, you know, their steps and came back to play for Nigeria. And eighty percent of um, the Tigress team, uh, American-born players, uh, players who are eligible to play for the US if they wanted to, uh, players who play in the WNBA, that's the women version of the NBA, and these are girls who decided to honor um, the Nigerian call and, you know, serve uh, fatherland. Um, while they were here, you know, I, I was trying to mimic some of them. I mean, they all have the, you know, um, that accent. You know, these girls, are, they know little about Nigeria, but are honoring um, the country. But then I, I also think that is one of the areas which has been taken for granted, perhaps the sports, or, I mean, um, those yeah, who, sports. yeah, you know, those who saddled with the responsibility of administering sport in this country would feel, oh, these are American girls, perhaps they, they don't really need this money, and all that, oh, they, they, are, they are big girls, they play in the w, uh, WNBA, perhaps they, they don't need this money. But like they say, to whom um, much is 
given, much is expected. And uh, who, uh, he who has done so much mm. should receive as well. You know, uh, like um, Evelyn said, Akato, who was the MVP when Nigeria got to the quarterfinal of the World Cup in Spain last year, which was the first time ever a Nigerian basketball team will get to that stage of the World Cup. The, I mean, the, the male team will be taking part at the World Cup in China in, a, in uh, um, a few days from now. It's their first World Cup ever. The Tigers have been at the World Cup. And they've gotten the quarterfinals. And they've gotten to the quarterfinals of the Where World they, Cup. Their, their male counterparts are You know, <laughs> they won the Afro Basket 2017, came back home, and they were given one million naira. Somebody said then, oh, they should be thankful that it wasn't the presidential handshake, which is a very common with uh, our dear president, uh, um, Buhari. You know, but I think these girls deserve more than one million naira. And that is one of the reasons why Evelyn is clamoring. Say, Mr. President, that, that, the Senegalese team that finished second, 17,000 dollars. She told me yesterday, they got 17,000 dollars, which mm. is um, um, about six million naira. And the house close to the stadium in Dakar for mm. finishing second. Mm. And the, 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 the winners, not just winners, back-to-back -back winners, mm. not even a reception has been, has been organized for them. Mm. Uh, but, but, Jude, I think this will be the first task we are going to give to our friend, Mr. Sonny Dari. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the sports uh, minister now. As, yeah. uh, <laughs> as no, a friend of the house. It's, it's, it's baptism of fire. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's Make baptism sure of that's... fire has come so soon. <laughs> um, you see, the problem is not peculiar to the Tigress. Even the women's football team. Yeah, fal uh, Falcons. Falcons. We usually the don't think that they back. deserve reward. These girls have won. This is the third time these girls will win. This, the Tigers will win this tournament. I mean, first won in uh, 2015. You know, and then they've won this one back to back. So they deserve to be rewarded. If the runner up for, is getting this much. For doing our country a massive honor. In the past, Nigeria could not challenge Angola and Senegal mm. in basketball. Mm. But today, the male team and, and basketball is the number one sport of the Angolans. Mm. When they are playing a basketball tournament, they show it live across mm. the country. Mm. It's their number one sport. Mm. So now that the two teams are doing well, mm. asserting themselves on the continent, the best we can do is to motivate them further and cash incentives goes a long way but we have i don't even want to talk about promises made even to super eagles yes. that went on uh, fulfilled for many years mm. the promise of house in abuja mm. for many years <laughs> john is born guy, just got his a couple of months waited, the phone. <laughs> they waited and waited and waited mm -hmm. so I mean, but i believe that the president will receive them I'm, I'm confident that the president will receive them once um, um, the president is briefed about their exploits. The president and the new minister of sports mm. will, will receive them and give them appropriate reward for what they have done. You, you can't say because people are based in the U.S. they don't need money. Our players who are millionaires <laughs> who earn so much uh -uh. playing they in England and other places, uh -uh. they still collect allowances. <laughs> For playing for the team, they still collect much <laughs> bonuses, mm -hmm. you know, for playing for the national team. So that has to be factored in. Before our teams even go for a tournament, we can make this kind of promises to them that look, if we bring back um, uh, the, trophy, the trophy, you get this, this is this. what you get. Mm -hmm. That will motivate them, Promise. and there should be. We should not. We should stop treating some sports as lesser sports. That's what I wanted because to ask. Because even at Olympic <laughs> level, these are the sports. That, that are likely to win us anything better. at all. Mm. Sure. Look mm. at badminton now. Mm. Badminton, Nigeria used to be number one in Africa. We went down, but we've come back We're again. Back. Mm. We are back. It's, 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 it's a thing Obi. of joy. Yeah, it's a thing of joy. So we have, we should not be discriminatory and put so much accent so, on football. Promise, how do we stem this tide that it should be the, the parity should not be football, football, well, football? Well, we, we, we know football is the opium of sport in Nigeria. Every, every Nigerian loves football, but not every Nigerian will play football. And not every Nigerian actually loves football. I've seen no, guys who don't even watch football. football. You know, I've seen guys, even when you have uh, a big Premier League games going on, mm, they don't watch. they're watching something else. Mm -hmm. 
you understand, these are persons who perhaps have a bias for other sports. And um, like you rightly said, um, the owners now behoves on the new sport minister to ensure uh, that other sports are also given priority. And this also comes to um, the recent talks about um, uh, the dichotomy between uh, the men and the women in sport. You know, there's been yeah. this fight in the US yeah. about how much women should be paid we and how much men should be paid. Yes, it is true that the women's sport isn't generating as much. Yes, you know, you look at FIFA that. for instance, uh, what FIFA earns for the Women's World Cup is not as much as what they earn for the Men's World Cup. And FIFA will argue and say, no we one can't is pay the women winners as same. much as we pay the but men winners. But to not reward them you know? at all is what we are against. Exactly. Nobody is saying they one should pay them. One million naira for Afro-basket champions, African no, champions, it's peanuts. is peanuts. It's peanuts. Just, just <laughs> So, you know, and for these girls who play in diaspora, so just give us these a girls. Uh, okay, for instance, um, how much um, what the Senegalese? Uh, Akato Senegal, no. okay. is based in the U.S. How much what the president mm. Senegalese? Yes, we can. Or even and even do more. It. That's something thousand dollars. Plays in the U.S. For you know, she 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 left the U.S. went to Turkey to play. She'll be going to Spain to play next season. So these are girls. One millionaire is like, I mean, come on, is that That's money, money to go to mm. go play? I mean, you to can't even pay for that. Or to go buy shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? So I think I think um, um, the sport ministry has a lot of work to do. Okay. Um, they must have advised the presidency on that. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to blame the presidency. The sport ministry is responsible for that. No, I think they that's even they time. advise the. Let's not give wrongly. up that uh, it's too late. Uh, that they are not going to do something. I think that there is there's time for them to yes. do something. Yes. Yes. The matter of reception, the reception <laughs> yes. can happen anytime. I'm sure what will get will happen anytime. Yes, yes. Weeks, what along will we'll no. get to Sunday diary mm. so that we get to them. <laughs> now that that no, we'll is keep out of the them. We'll, 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 we'll keep reminding them. These girls them. are friends of, of TVC. Yes. So we'll we need to speak them. for them. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I want to thank you as sports editor. Promise I forget. Thank you for being on the show. And I'd like to thank Dari Dufour Country for coming earlier. And BQ himself. Thank you for always being there on the show. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program and also what journalists hang out on our platforms showing on the screen. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. Our feedback channel is journalists hang out at tvcnews.tv. I'm Ayodele Zubakon. See you tomorrow. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.